All right, Stanley 78 depth stops for sale. Anybody need one? All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, well, here are all the uh, depth stops back from the foundry. Uh, this is our original one from uh, old Sneelock's workshop. He was kind enough to let me borrow that so I could make one for myself, and he needed a couple too. But uh, hopefully that'll benefit some other people. And uh, anyway, Clark uh, Easterling, he runs a foundry, and I forget exactly where, but uh, back east. Uh, he offered to uh, maybe do the castings, so I sent him the pattern, and he sent me seven samples. And uh, he was kind of working his way through his process, and uh, this was one of the worst ones. You know, he was having trouble getting the part out of the sand, but uh, you can see it didn't quite cast the whole corner there, but, hey, you know takes a while to get this stuff kind of dialed in. That one, same thing, a really rough surface. I think he had some sand was kept falling in. You can see the slot here has got a really heavy flash in there, so that's that's not so great. Anyway, there's about four of those, I think, that were kind of not so great. Then we started getting into more like these, and this one came out pretty good. A lot less flash. Surface finish is pretty good. A couple, a little bit of pores here and there, but nothing, I mean, that's cosmetic. This one here came out really nice. I can't really see any flaws except for just a couple of little pits in there, but again, that's uh, just cosmetic. And this one here is pretty much about perfect, except for I'm not quite sure why you keep getting the little air bubbles here on the surface. But at any rate, uh, this isn't a you know a part that's going to cost anybody their life if it should fail, and I, I can't see that that's really going to cause any problem. Anyway, so I thought it'd be kind of interesting to see. A lot of people were sort of worried about uh, shrink. And shrink definitely happens uh, in iron. It's about one eighth per foot. So if you do the math on that, that's uh, about 10 thousandths per inch. So let's see how big this part here is. This is the original one. And uh, overall, this is uh, uh, more or less about an inch 650. Yeah, something like an inch 648 or so. So, this one here, on the bottom of it, this is maybe, if anywhere, it's going to be just a little bit thin here because I had to grind the bottom of this. So, let's see what we got here. So, uh, yeah, we're actually oversized. If I can get it in there, right? So that's right on an inch 700 and, I don't know, one or two, depends. There's a little bit of flashing up here. But, and I don't know if it'll show here, if I can get the light to <laughs> hit it just right. I can find my lens. Let's see. Uh, you can see that when they were working with this pattern, there's a little flat spot right there where they kind of ground a little bit more off. So... Uh, you know, I just tried to correct that little loss. You know, probably the guy was just cleaning up the flashing or whatever here on the edge and just ground it a little too much. Um, I had a theory that it might have been uh, like a riser or something on this end, but I don't think so. He didn't need to use one when he was doing the casting. So, at any rate, so it's actually a little bit over length. That's kind of interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Let's see what the width is. Now on the original one here, we're that is uh, eight hundred and excuse me, is that eight or nine? It's about uh, 830 on the original one. And this is the one I've fixed up. And we're about 812. So a couple 20 thousandths short. I don't think anybody's going to care about that too much. So at any rate, you know, you, you can see on the smaller your parts are getting, 
uh, the less shrink becomes an issue. And really, on this particular part, the only things that are really important is the relationship to this slot, to these little V's that register into the body of the plane. And uh, there's a lot of play in that. I mean, I mean a lot. I think it's like a, a number 10 screw goes through there, and this slot is like a quarter of an inch or something. Yeah, almost a quarter inch. It's a 222. I wonder what mine is. I think mine are a little bit bigger than that, even. Yeah, I'm 245-ish. So... I'm a little bit sloppy on that that slot, but not by a lot. Anyway, you guys can see that like shrink really isn't that big of a an issue. Anyway, so back to the point at hand here. Um, Clark is gonna start making some of these castings for me. So if anybody is wanting these, uh, I think twenty dollars I think is about the right price. Uh, I should be able to get a little something out of that. Clark will be getting some and. Uh, Pretty sure I can mail them to you. No, no shipping charge for that. If anybody needs any of these, let me know. Just uh, post a comment down below. And uh, you could always send an email to uh, my email address. And I'll, I'll leave that in the comments also. So I hope we all enjoy this here. All right, guys. Something I wanted to kind of point out too. If you can see... I left both the V's on here, right? So on the original one, and this fits the Stanley, and probably I would think most of the copies, the V is just on this side, and this one's been ground down, and I, I'm not sure how much that is left on there, but I don't know, 20, 30 thousandths or something, very little. Uh, that was ground down at the factory, right? So there's only one groove, but I think it was a sergeant plane that old Sneelock has where it's the opposite. And I'm pretty sure, you know, they did a lot of stuff like this back in the days where they would kind of set it up so that if you lost a part or something broke, you'd have to buy it from the manufacturer. Because if you bought this from Stanley, it ain't going to fit your sergeant plane or vice versa. And in fact, the screw that holds this thing on, uh, for certain on the older ones, it's a very unconventional thread. It's, uh, I think he said it's a 1027. Right? Good luck finding that die. Well, uh, old Sneelock's found one, so he's going to make a few screws. I don't know if, uh, how many he plans on making, but uh, he's got the die. So anyway, back to the point. Uh, if you need one that's got the V left on the opposite side, uh, just let me know. And I'm going to be receiving the castings with both of these on, and uh, it can be made to go either direction. So if you have uh, the sergeant plane, I think is what it is, or any other plane that uses the same style foot or depth stop, I suppose is the correct term, uh, let me know and we can probably set you up with the correct one. Uh, it might have to take a few little measurements, but I think probably these are going to be fairly standard as far as that goes. Anyway, if you guys like getting old tools fixed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Those always help. I like seeing them. That helps keep me motivated. All right. We'll see you guys around.